looking. It's the World Cup now, and we know who one of the finalists will be, a nation that has never won the title before. But who will they be up against? Reigning European champions or a team that has won the World Cup three times? Spain and Germany face each other in Durban tonight, and that's where our reporter Rachel Brooks is right now. Rachel. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mariam. Yes, it's going to be an all-European final because the Netherlands got through last night beating Uruguay by three goals to two. It was Giovanni van Bronckhurst who opened the scoring with a screamer with his left foot. Uh, Diego Forlan, uh, some great skill from him, and his was a great goal too on 41 minutes just before the break. But then Ian Robin and Wesley Schneider put two goals in the back of the net within three minutes in the second half, and that really put paid to Uruguay's chances. They did try and fight back. They got a goal in the uh, 93rd minute of the match through Pereira, but it wasn't enough. Uruguay will now play in the third and fourth place playoff match on Saturday but Netherlands are in the final on Sunday the big one in Johannesburg and the stars have been arriving in fact for tonight's game here in Durban Leonardo DiCaprio, Charlize Theron, Mick Jagger, Sharuk Khan uh, even the King and Queen of Spain are rumoured to be attending tonight at the uh, Moses Mabida Stadium over my right shoulder and we spoke to the mayor of Durban to find out what the World Cup has meant to him and his city. Another day begins in South Africa's second biggest city. Durban has done well out of the World Cup. And out on the North Beach, you can almost touch the feel-good factor. The city's mayor told me the tournament has been a magnet for investment. There's so much that this World Cup has done for us and I'm sure for the whole continent as well. He's talking about the massive influx of foreigners to Durban and all the business generated by the three million visitors the city now hopes to attract each year. And then there's this, the $450 million Moses Mabida Stadium, where tonight's World Cup semi-final will be staged between Germany and Spain. The mayor denies this 70,000-seater stadium, which opened last December, will become a white elephant after the World Cup is over. He and the Durban City Fathers see the building as part of a possible bid to host another big world tournament. For us, to even think of a white elephant, it's, it's going to be impossible. We are also eyeing at the big events like the Olympics themselves. As elsewhere in South Africa, thousands live in squalor on the fringes of cities like Durban. I asked the mayor when the World Cup feel-good factor and some hard cash will start to trickle down to them. Obviously, they are going to be a part of our focus area for the next 10 years or even more than that. So for now, many in Durban are feeling the immediate benefit of being a World Cup city boosted again by tonight's big game. Others can only wait and hope. Yes, well, that's uh, the mayor of Durban and his say on things. The newspapers here today are calling tonight's game the real final because of the challenge of these two teams, Germany against Spain. It's a repeat of the Euro 2008 final, which Spain won through a Torres goal. He might need not even start for Spain tonight, though he's yet to find form in this tournament. Fabregas had been a doubt. He'd had a shoulder injury. He then picked up a leg training on Monday, but we're hearing from the Spain camp that he hopefully will be fit tonight. He could start in place of Torres. It depends what Vicente Del Bosque decides to go with. And on Germany side, Thomas Muller is out. He's suspended. Mirosa closing in on the world record for World Cup goals. Let's hear now from both managers. I think we are starting with a balanced match. They are good in the attack. There are moments when they can go back and are still able to play attacking football. They can create moves. They also have good individual players who are strong. This is what has brought us success here. Against Argentina and England, we always insisted, even after taking a 1-0 or 2-0 lead, to continue attacking. This is precisely why we have gotten opportunities. It is how we are going to succeed. Well, Germany looking for revenge for 2008, while Spain looking to find the form they promised before this tournament. Set to be a great clash here in Durban tonight.